Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. Today in online marketing, we'll discuss about website planning and creation. Website is what engages with you and the users, the potential customers, the traffic that is coming to your website, what you put on your website, how your website looks like, what are the key factors that you need to implement on the website, what are the tips, ideas that you can think of implementing on your website and how you can actually go on optimizing your website with the key factors is what actually differentiates and distinguishes from a good website and a bad website. A good website that drive traffic, a bad website that is of no use to you. Let's check them those factors. What is website planning and creation? Website planning and creation refers to analyzing, researching and building an ideal website that is in consonance with the industry and the niche. Extremely important for you to do a lot of research and analysis on the kind of website that you want to build for your business. Do a lot of research and find out what is working and what is not working. What is in line with the requirements, what are your business objectives, what you want to achieve, what are your goals, how you want to go about driving traffic your website. What is the industry that you belong to and what is the niche that you are actually related to. And these factors need to be taken into consideration as far as website planning and creation is concerned. Planning also involves selecting the tools, resources, pages of the website. What are the tools, what are the technologies, how you want to go about with it and what are the pages that you want to build, how many pages the website should have, what should be the content of the pages. These are actually are the factors that also need to be taken into consideration as far as your planning of your website is concerned. Content. What is the planning in the content as far as content is concerned? Content is everything on the website. Without content, of course, you cannot have a website. Content is what the user is looking at. Content is what the user will be interacting with. And you are basically speaking to the end user, the traffic that is coming to your website, the anonymous visitor who is coming to your website. You are basically engaging with them with your content that you put on the website. The content can be text, the content can be videos, it can be audios, it can be infographics, it can be images. All these actually cons considered as content. The most important factor on any website is the content, the highly valuable content, the beneficial content that you provide to the end user, the visitor who is coming to your website and that is what actually decides the fate of your website. Content must be user centric. The content has to be absolutely user specific. You have to do a lot of research, analyze, read, write content, proofread it, rewrite it, re-edit it but refine the content and the content has to be absolutely user centric that is beneficial to the end user. It has to provide value to the users. If I go to a particular website, if I find something useful, valuable for me, I will go on repeating repeatedly to that particular website because I am benefiting from that website because I am getting some valuable information from that website and this repeat user is what actually drives traffic to a website. Growth of the website is depending upon them and as far as as long as you provide valuable information to the users, the users will keep on flocking to your website. Create unique and original content extremely important when you are building a website you the design is completed the pages are being framed the navigation system is done and you are actually writing the content more often than not what we see is lot many people actually go to similar websites pick up content from here and there do a bit of editing sometimes even they do not do that basic editing they just post the content it is basically a copy paste work and this will never ever work for your business. If you are serious about your business, if you want to do serious work with your website, if you are seriously spending money on your website, make sure that the content that you provide on your website is unique and original and not a copied one. A copied content will never ever work for your business. 
Use keywords in headings and subheadings. The content has to be clearly defined. When you write content on the website, a heading has to be clearly defined what that website is talking about. Write short paragraphs, have good many number of keywords in the first two, three paragraphs, lines of the pages content, write subheadings, the paragraphs have to be short, each paragraph have to have their own headings and write clean, crisp content, beneficial content in very simple language, the language that the user understands. Bulleted proofs, long paragraphs of content will never work on the websites or any online asset, whether it is a blog or a landing page or on social media, the content has to be short in short paragraphs and that too in bulleted points. Because people really do not have much time to re go on reading long and lengthy paragraphs. Bulleted points to the point, concise, precise and compelling. That is what will work. Explain services benefits to the users. When you write the content on a particular page of a website, write the heading then write about the kind of technology or the service or a product service that you are providing and what are the features of that product what are the what are the benefits of that product how the end user will benefit out of it then followed by the con the call to action it has to be in a simple format as if you're narrating a story to the end user explain and end with a perfect compelling call to action and this should be act the, the key factor that you can think of implementing as far as content on your website is concerned. What are the best practices you can think of implementing on your website? Preferably use WordPress as a platform. If your not, website is not big a website, it has a few pages, WordPress is an ideal platform as far as building a website is concerned. It provides a lot of features, benefits and plugins for you. Purchase a responsive template. Designing again is a key factor. You can actually hire a good designer. A good designer can actually create a very good template for you, a design for you, a user interface for you. But better preferably if you can go on buying a responsive template or a theme that is in line with your business requirement, in line with your industry and the niche. A responsive template is actually helps you with lot of features and they come in built in so that you don't have to build a design from the scratch. Navigation must be simple and user friendly. The navigation system that you see on the top home, about us, the services, the solutions, the products, the blog, the contact us. It has to be clean, crisp and simple so that you can, user can find the information they are looking for easily, quickly and naturally. Use high quality images. Images play a very important role. Images have to have to be there on the website. High quality images, good images, big images and images have to be optimized, reduce the the, the actual reduce the, the the heaviness of the image so that you can actually increase the visibility of the image big size oversized images will not do any help to you because it takes a lot of time for the website to load those images and loading is a key factor optimize the images reduce the 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 bandwidth of the image reduce the size of the image and put all tasks give names to those images play an important role website load speed matters and extremely important the images that you do the videos that you put up they have to be optimized completely reduce the space so, so that the the speed actually increases content rich with keywords content that you write for multiple pages on the website has to be rich with keywords rich with keywords simply does not mean that you go on stuffing the keywords it will never work use keywords long tail keywords judiciously anchor text anchor text are basically the internal links links from one page to another page within the content plays a very important role breadcrumbs extremely important that you see on internal pages you see a line below the banner uh, below the banner or sometimes on the top of the banner home about us management team or home services search engine optimization breadcrumbs actually will provide a good user friendliness to the user because they know exactly where they are in and they can click back and go to the previous page blog on the website plays a very important role you can integrate a wordpress blog on the site and write high quality content and fresh original content 
then you got site map site to map can be a uh, html site map site map can be an xml site map html site map that which existing on the website that provide links of all the pages existing on the website an xml site map you can submit it to the google through search console or you can put it on the server along the source pages and a good call to action each and every page must have a clear cut compelling call to action so that users can take action and get in touch with you and these are some of the best practices you can think of when planning and creating a website for your business and what are the tips and ideas that you can think of determine your goals for the website you have to have a very clear cut goals and objectives for your website what you want to achieve from your website at the end of the day identify target audience who are your audience where they are coming from where they will come from what is the demography what is the geography and target those customers extremely important to achieve your goals extensive keyword research you have to use a lot many tools importantly and most critically the, the google keyword planner is a very good tool google keyword planner will provide you a wealth of information as far as your keyword research is concerned do a research on the kind of competitors who are existing on the website on uh, in 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 the market and what are the what are their websites what kind of keyword they are doing how much is the density of this keyword they are using and what is actually the volume search volume of those keywords and what are the keyword that you can use what are the keyword they can you can implement do not jo just go on copying what your competitors are doing identify your niche identify your business even though you have competitors stick to what is important and beneficial for your website and do a lot of extensive keyword is create an architecture design and wireframes before you go on building the website extremely important that you build an architecture how the website should look like what should be the header what should be the height and width of a header with the body part what is the content that you want to put in the body part what is the content and the links that you want to provide in the footer how the logo should look like how the navigation should should look like these are the factors that you need to take into consideration when you go in for the design and build the wireframes so that you can give get a basic idea how the website will look like and these are the factors that you need to take into consideration before you actually go on buying a template or a theme for your website logo matters extremely important that logo plays a very important role good logo crisp logo clear logo that actually clearly defines your business your goals and objectives logo has to play a very important role and it has to be clearly defined focus on user experience when you talk about the user experience it is basically an interaction engagement the user actually takes place with your website how actually user is behaving on your website how the user is comfortable or not on the website is what user experience is all about a clearly defined website with good interface a good experience is what drives business and traffic to your website spend a lot of time doing a lot of research on user experience thorough testing when you have the website done and completed go to each and every page from the home page till the last page test the website thoroughly in terms of user experience in terms of usability in terms of user interface in terms of the content in terms of the videos or the images the links each and every part of the website has to be thoroughly tested before you go live then go on for integrating analytics without analytics you cannot think of the website or having a website going live register with google analytics take the code that google analytics provide integrate to each and every page so that you can track and monitor the traffic that is coming to your website implement seo best practices have good meta tags have good keywords description title submission to google search engines then you have internal links then you have a site maps all these are some of the factors that you can think of implementing the basic seo as far as your website is concerned if you are building a website on wordpress as a platform wordpress provides a lot of uh, features and plugins that are available for you your plugin is considered a very good plugin when you are actually using wordpress as a platform when you integrate your plugin seo plugin that actually provides you the complete information to make your website seo friendly 
Google verification. Verification by the Google is extremely important. Google Search Console provides you that information. Google to go to Google Search Console, get your website verified by Google. And these are some of the tips and ideas you can think of implementing on your website. In conclusion, what we have seen is what is website planning and creation, website planning, the content part of it, website planning, the best practices and the tips and ideas you can think of implementing on the website. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again.